Hello there, Adam Zenz, Theistic Scaffolds, and yes, once again, I am engaged in a debate on the controversial topic of hellfire versus annihilationism, where the position I will adopt of a eternal hellfire for um, the non-believing unrighteous um, who stand before a totally uh, holy and righteous God would be eternal separation from God's presence, a sense of being eternally lost and uh, far away from home. Uh, that is the view that I'll adopt for um, hell as opposed to annihilation, with, annihilationism, which my daughter is espousing and going to defend for this debate. Well, first let's note um, two primary Greek terms, um, Hades and Gehenna. Now, Hades refers typically to a place that is intermediate um, after physical death before the judgment of uh, the unrighteous. We're talking about those who are, um, who are dying in unbelief and who are not saved, and they, will, they remain in Hades before uh, their judgment, and then they will be um, committed to um, hell, fire, which Gehenna. Um, and so that's the view I'm adopting. Hades would be pretty equivalent or pretty close equivalent to Sheol or Sheol uh, in Hebrew. All right, let's look at, um, let's just discuss a couple of New Testament references. I'm going to focus on the New Testament. Um, that's primarily well, where I'll derive the data for the argument. In the Gospel of Matthew and what is known as the Sermon on the Mount, there are a couple of references right away in, in chapter 5 um, to one is to very foul language that um, one Jew might be using towards a fellow, a, a fellow brother or sister, and um, and the kind of um, name calling or insulting that would be used, and there are different levels. And Jesus talks about the um, the highest insult be meriting hellfire, and uh, and that would be. Um, that would be a very uh, serious offense, especially if unrepented from. And then a little bit later in chapter 5, it also, uh, the text also discusses um, the notion of your eye becoming such an offense, such a problem for you, um, and the need to, to get rid of that. And metaphorically, the idea of separating or removing oneself from a source of sin. And if that, um, it's, it's better to get rid of that source of sin than it is to enter hellfire. In Mark chapter 3, there's an interesting reference to um, following the Spirit, um, de not denying the supernatural power. If you deny the supernatural source of Jesus' power, um, that that would be a sin against the Holy Spirit and meriting hellfire. Um, and then in uh, 2 Peter uh, 2.4, there is a reference to um, angels who are cast into a very severe place of judgment prior to their final uh, disposition. And that Greek word is actually tartaros, but it gives us a sense of the internal terminability of the uh, state of hell. Uh, well, thank you. That's my opening remarks. I had to do that really fast, and I'll have a lot more time and, and um, items to cover in the rebuttal. Thank you for tuning in. We'll talk again later. Bye-bye.